Hey everybody, my name is Brent Atwater. I'm a medium and today, well, we're dealing with the elements out here and it's sort of like a news flash from heaven because is pain raining down on your life? And you're going, what do you mean by that? Well, pain raining down on your life is you being involved in activities that really perpetuate the pain in your life. Like sometimes you'll go on these websites and they have all these sympathetic supposedly sayings and things like that. And I'm going to give you, whoa, this wind's rocking out here. Um, anyway, I'm going to give you some, some of the ideas that we wrote down that was said. And it's like, one of them is like, uh, I look at the sky and I wish, and I talk to you. I wish I could hear you back. Hello, you can. Oh, you go, what do you mean you can? Well, you don't have to look at the sky and wish you could hear your loved one back. You have the heart connection. So all you have to do is learn how to do it. It's just a simple matter of your heart to their heart talking. And in my book, Lessons from Loved Ones in Heaven, there's a whole thing on how you can connect without being afraid to your loved one in heaven on the energetic love connection that you always have. So if you say, I look to heaven and I talk to you, but I wish I could hear you. You can hear them. You don't have to give that up. And somebody said to me, well, when you talk to Mike, which for those of you who don't know, was my fiance who was killed, what does he sound like? He sounds like Mike, just exactly the way he did when he was in his earth suit. So don't let, oh, I wish I could, I wish I could, you probably can rain down on you and create more pain in your heart. Let's see, the second example here is, if I can read this, <laughs> that had blown out of my hand. I miss you so much and I wish you were here. Hello? They are here. Just ask them to come on down because all they did was transition out of the earth suit and they're a living spirit and they're right here with you. Just invite them to come visit you. So you don't have to say, I miss you. Why would you miss them when they're sitting right there beside you or wrapping their rings around you or you can feel their presence? You don't have to miss them. Now, if you want a technique to help separate that out, what you're missing is the earth suit. So that's the way you would say it. I miss your earth suit. That way, you're not insulting their living spirit on the other side that says, I can be with you all the time. What do you mean you're missing me? I'm right there. So. If you say, I miss you, say, I miss your earth suit, because that's reality. And factually, they're right there with you. They never went anywhere. So their living spirit doesn't have to be missed. Okay, and then for the third one, we go, I ask myself every day, how can I go on without you? Uh, you don't have to go on without them. <laughs> They're living spirit and they're ready to start a brand new journey. It's your mind that has to go over the speed bump to realize, don't let it rain down pain on you by going, oh, how can I go on without you? You don't have to go on without them. My whole book, Lessons from Loved One is Heaven, is about bridging the realms and talking about and communicating and connecting with loved ones on the other side. So you don't have to go on without them. Now, you might be without the earth suit, which is just the body that they inhabited while they were on earth. But after they transitioned, you can rock and roll and have another journey with them. You're the earth person that just has to learn and get over the speed bump of your own mind. That is possible. So for all the millions of people out there who go, how can I go on without you? Eh, the best way to say it realistically is, how can I go on without your earth suit? Well, that's a logistic thing that you have to adapt and cope to. But how can I go on without you? You don't have to because your special beloved is in spirit's form and transitioned from their soul in their earth suit into living energy and they're ready to have a brand new journey with you. You just got to start the journey and give them permission to come on down and let's begin again. Subscribe, stay tuned, send us your questions. Check out my new book, Lessons from Loved Ones That Help. And it helps you get over all this stuff and you'll learn. You don't have to be without them. There is no journey and, oh yeah, you can hear them all the time. They're noisy, 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 and busy, busy, busy. Thanks for listening. Bye, bye, bye.